it takes a village uh, to do science and um, there aren't enough prizes to go around and so um, but still it, it took a, it took a, a few minutes for me to comprehend that it wasn't some hallucination or strange dream you know that, um, and if, in fact it was the chair of the Nobel Committee uh, and his colleagues were with him in the background and they were wishing me congratulations and I said, maybe I can boot maybe I can get MC to pay attention to me. Oh my God. You know, at, at that point, I, I was awake enough to realize that this really was happening. And since then, it's been just a crazy whirlwind of joy and celebration and interviews. Um, and we can take these really complex molecules and do precision chemistry on them with these reactions. And that is a superpower that opens the door to all kinds of interesting applications. And in, in our lab, the applications are in biomedicine, and we use these chemistries to study biological molecules in cells, in, in living organisms, and also to develop new kinds of medicines for diseases like cancer. So I anticipate, and I'll be very excited to see, uh, that this field produces treatments for human diseases that were previously untreatable in the next decade or so. Um, that would be really gratifying for me to see that. Expected observations and pursue them far enough so that you feel like you have actually learned something new. So I think the Nobel Prize not only can help accelerate my field of bioorthogonal chemistry, but hopefully it can also give a boost to the chemical sciences more broadly. Uh, and of course, he knows exactly what it means uh, to have a Nobel Prize in, in science, um, being a physicist as he is. Uh, so he was just overjoyed, bursting with pride, um, started calling all of the other family members um, and sharing the news. So he's extremely proud. I think this is a real moment in his life. And he's 91 years old, and I'm just delighted that he is here uh, to share this with me. And that sparked an idea for how to make